Native Instruments releases an update to Machine. The CEO of Dubspot's under a lot of fire. We get a list of great DJ shops from around the US and a new product for all those Volca and Mini Synth users out there. Find out more coming up. Native Instruments has just updated Machine to version 2.6.5. This new version includes a new view that they're calling Ideas View. It's very similar to the way that Session View works in Ableton Live, where you have columns of clips that you can launch, and it's a nice way to get ideas together without using the linear timeline that you're used to in most DAWs. So this is great for mashing ideas together, or just trying different combinations of things, or if you're a user of Ableton Live, you can be really comfortable with this, and you know just using it to kind of make ideas on the fly without having to stop the flow. So if you are a machine user, especially if you have the machine jam, this is a great new tool that they've added to machine and it actually makes me want to get into the machine workflow even more because you can actually use the ideas view and the session view in Ableton at the same time and move patterns back and forth and have an even more dynamic workflow. So I'll go ahead and leave the link down below where you can get more information about the update and where you can grab it. Recently, website Thump has reported that the CEO of the online production and DJ school Dubspot has been under a lot of fire from not completing students courses to not paying the employees and instructors it seems like Dubspot is in a huge mess. Dubspot not only, not only has the online component to their school but they had a physical location in New York and they recently opened one in Los Angeles as well. I actually know people that instructed at Dubspot, former instructors I should mention, and students that went to Dubspot earlier uh, in Dubspot's existence and had a great time and learned a lot of things but it seems as time went on that was no longer the case. Students weren't getting the classes that they paid for at these physical locations because instructors didn't show up to class because they weren't getting paid. A lot of back pay never got paid or is in the process of getting paid and in fact Dubspot's being sued by multiple people for thousands of dollars for incomplete courses and just back pay. So it's really sad for me to see Dubspot end up in this position as I was coming up learning production and just wanting to learn more about DJing. It was a great resource online. I never really applied for the actual school, whether it be online or the physical locations, but they did have a lot to offer and there was a lot of knowledge up there. And it's still a lot of knowledge up there on their YouTube channel. So to see where Dubsot was and how great they were for the community, to see where it is now, really saddens me. I just hope that in the end that everyone that paid for courses either gets their money back or gets the instruction that they need and all the instructors that were working for Dubspot get the back pay that they deserve for showing up for committing to being an instructor at one of these schools and in the end hopefully this all works out. DJ Tech Tools just posted a list of really cool unique DJ shops from around the US. These are not your guitar centers or your Sam Ashes. these are more mom and pop shops some of them deal in you know specialty stuff like for synthesizers and just weird DJ equipment really cool list it's actually something that I want to add on my my list of things that I'd want to do when I travel to new cities so I'll go ahead and link that down below if you live in one of these cities and you haven't been to these shops definitely check that out places in San Francisco Oakland uh, Philadelphia all across the United States not only on the list but in the comments as well uh, users of DJ Tech Tools have added onto that list as well so be sure to check the comments for even more shops and finally, European company Bastl has just released a new piece of hardware that they're calling Dude. This is a small five channel mixer for all the users out there of like the Volca series or any of these small synthesizers that need to be hooked up together and need a mixer to have all the different parts working together instead of routing them all in line. You can now have a small mixer that's just the size of four AA batteries. Each channel has their own mute switches as well on top of the volume controls you get on each device. So you have more flexibility and it's a lot easier to connect everything and the routing is a lot cleaner this way. So if you're a user of these items, I'm a huge proponent of these kinds of synthesizers, especially the Volca series. Really cool pieces of gear to just jam out on or just dump ideas out or if you're just messing around. Really fun way to mess around, work on some music while you're on the go. This new product, this new mixer seems awesome and the price is great as well. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below for the website where you can grab this thing. The price is amazing. The build quality looks really sturdy and really cool and I'm just glad to see that this scene is flourishing. So that's it for the news this week. So question of the day, which mom and pop DJ store do you frequent a lot? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. As always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right there to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. 
And thank you for watching MP.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.